Our boy Yu-Gi-Oh did indeed get the STIs. He got infected. And now he's thinking that like he's against us and there's nothing we can do to like convince him that like he's being gaslit because he's too down bad for mommy. But then again, I look at Quinella and I'm like, yeah, I probably wouldn't have lasted either. I probably wouldn't have. What's going on right now? It's Kirito versus Yu-Gi-Oh. We talked a little about, about um, dual wielding, but obviously the blue rose sword is already gone by Yu-Gi-Oh. Alice still has a sword that we could potentially dual wield with, but I think the object authority level to consider two swords is going to be too much. But I'm still anticipating Kirito to use release, you know, recollection memory skills on both like dual wielding skills and go double in. That would be hype. Now, even though it's like a 2v1 scenario with Alice, there still is the prime senator who escaped into that chamber, said system called generate luminous element, and then he disappeared. So just keep that in mind as well. Let's begin today's reaction. It's actually so stupid if you think about it. The core argument of why Yu-Gi-Oh! and like Quinella like agreed to that is for the love. And like the whole thing of like, you know, your love given to them is like it's not monopolized. Only I can give you this one singular love, which is already capped, because she's just saying this shit when she has 32 separate other motherfuckers she's doing this shit to. And then but Yuji is so desperate. Like what happened with this background story? There must be more reasoning beyond just him seeing an imaginary scene of fucking Kirito and Alice eating sandwich together. Like, really? Is there some deep-rooted issues with Yuji's mom? Like, I don't think we've ever really gone to the backstory. There was a little bit of the flashback we saw during the synthesis ritual, but it's just like, god damn, bro. Oh? <laughs> Say something, bro! The 32nd night, UGO. キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。キリトは。
I thought that he hesitated for a second, like the lethal attack or some shit. Turned his back. Did he hesitate? I don't think so. I think Yuju came with the counter ready. <laughs> Cap! Einkristall! Einkristall! Never mind, it's a senpai's. You were a page, Yuji, remember? I love Quinella lore. I love the entire thing, how she brute forced the fucking system command list for, you know, the reading the list. But like, fuck, does this shit piss me off about Yuji? -Oh. Like, Yuji is making me mad. It's not even his fault. It is his fault. It's not his fault. It is. Like, Yuji is fucking making me mad, bro. If this motherfucker dies, I won't even cry. If Yujiro fucking actually dies, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna remember this and be like, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm not gonna cry for you. The memory. Now, the knife, the dagger. We didn't use it on Quinella. Kirito's dagger is gone because we used it on Fanatio. But Yujiro's dagger, I'm still not sure where it is. Maybe it's not on him right now. But potentially there's a chance if it's on Yujiro's body and we take that knife and stab Yujiro, couldn't Cardinal do some shit? Right? Like everything that we were planning to do on Alice, we could do on Yujiro right now because Alice is good now. You know what I mean? アドミニストレーターやいばに込められたものは相手の魂にまで届く俺はそう信じるルリットムラで俺たちの帰りを待っているんですかティーフェイ集権学院で指導してくれたこの人を奮発してくれたティーフェとロニエそして何よりアリス
Absolutely not. You are not writing Yu-Gi-Oh. Fuck that, dude. This guy deserves a special kind of death. I don't know what kind of fate he's gonna meet by the end of SAO, but like, oh man, I can't wait for this fat little fuck to just die. <laughs> What's that? His movement is by turning into a bouncy ball. <laughs> but he's funny, right? He's funny. Alright. Oh, reward. What kind of reward? Oh. Yuji, you dog! Oh, so she didn't give him the coochie just yet? The deal was take them out, then you can get it? I mean, she's literally just leaking right now. Uh, hello? She's just telling... You, you, are you hearing this? Quinella is getting kind of complacent and just like... Literally breaking, you know, like like the immersion. You can't like. I hope he's hearing this, but who knows, right? Like like synthesis module memory gap. Hello. Hmm. More childhood memories. Giga C. <laughs> Kirito's more memorable than Alice. <laughs> Dude, this is the perfect opportunity, Yujiyo. Come on. You're getting your memories back. She's vulnerable right now. You got the dagger on you still? Does he still have the dagger right now? Like, this could be a monumental moment to clutch. Yo, are you listening to this or are you offline? Yujiyo, you there? System core. Release. Recollection. Do it. Bankai right now. Don't you dare remove the condom again, Yu-Gi-Oh. No, no, no. Don't remove core protection. System core. Oh, he's rebelling. Mom? Dagger! 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 So close. Oh, Yujiyo clutched. I'm happy. Doesn't matter. I don't care that it didn't land. You just still did it. Thank fucking God. Oh, fuck. Dude, if he literally removed core protection again, I'm like, after all of this, that would have been so bad. But thank God he actually made a move. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, the dagger still has its use, right? It's not been used yet, I don't think. Got naked for some reason. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you remember? Nobody remembers me, Vanessa, Empress, Succubus, leg movement? Wow. They, they, but like, even at a more aggressive angle, with a single titty showing, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the author of this show is so horny, man. There's like no reason to just like do this much fan service. Like, oh yes, nothing can damage this skin as I fucking just boom boom Cap. Hmm. Is she floating? She is floating. I'm like, what the fuck is she sitting on? Nothing. Yujiyo, stop being so thirsty. Lock in, Yujiyo. No, no. Yujiyo, lock in. 
支配されたかわいそうそんな風にしか言えないあなたの方だおおきっとあなたもしかし与えられることはなかった愛を支配する入れるものでもないへえ Wasn't this literally mentioned line for line before? What was the conversation with? Was it with Alice and Kirito? I forget. But I, I, this specific line about the transactional nature of love. Or maybe that was dangerous in my heart. I can't tell. I feel like I've heard this line recently though. Was it dangerous in my heart? The teeth they say shit? I forget, man. But I do remember this specific line of like, what is exactly love, right? You can't buy it or sell it. It's something more beyond that. I think it was dangerous in my heart. それが愛なんだ氷協会に反逆した滞在人の坊やを許し魂を救ってあげようとしただけ Oh no! Mama getting mad! <laughs> the hair just perfectly fucking just <laughs> Everything rises but the first two just so that we can cover the nipples やっぱり殺して宝石にしちゃうのはつまらないかしらに強制シンセサイズしようかしら Like Alice あの子 Thirty-chan?Anokomojutsuki-no-e-shou-yaga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga
本日をもって壊滅いたわずか2名の反逆者たちの権利をインテグリナイツそしてあなたがこの塔と共に築き上げた究極の使命は剣なき民の穏やかな営みと安らかな眠りを守ることです人海に暮らす人々の安寧を損なう者に他なりません Damn She really approached this professionally and respectfully Saying you are now a liability to the human empire Now I still want to believe that she's double dipping in the dark territory as well I think that she can use the dark arts The minions were there, they were making a big deal about that I just feel like it's not just the human place that she's doing this Maybe she's So like, will she just fucking jump to the dark territory now? She's like, alright, fuck you motherfuckers Then she goes to the dark side Then like season 4 is like her and the dark forces like attacking us and we're supposed to protect against it I don't know Shut up, Baldi! Meaning that she disabled the code 871 imposed by that person of her own volition and imposed by that person probably as someone related to Wrath, most likely Kikoka, and 871 we know. Obviously, it shows up when you're about to break the tab, but once it's been busted, they pretty much become woke. Because an integrity knight, even as Alice with the memory gone, when you disable that shit and you bust that eye, then you can, like, think for yourself. But that person, Wrath employee, Hikoka, somebody in there. So, hold up. Rather than a sudden emotional burst, is this a differentiation on how Yu-Gi-Oh's emotional burst, you know, popped his eyeball, but Alice was different, where she disabled it? Is this like, this is two different things happening right now, right? 871, regardless at the end, for Yu-Gi-Oh and Alice both got disabled. But even after that, the synthesis, it, this is getting tricky because like Yu-Gi-Oh did to get the synthesis ritual, but even if he did disable 871 because his eye broke, he still was brainwashed because the synthesis happened after, but for Alice it's a bit different because it happened after. It's ugh, just... I just... Ugh. Oh. That is cruel. 1v3? You got a 1v3? I want to I I want to see this shit. I'm down to see this shit. Let's go. Good, good luck. Yeah. Let's hear it. Yeah. And if I win, please, a crumb of your coochie, please. What? If you would allow me to touch your exalted body with my own hands and kiss you my- your imminent- <laughs> Her face, bro. He's like, bruh, really? Bruh. <laughs> I mean, listen, Quinella body is fucking crazy, right? If, like, 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 just taking her pure, just like, physical design. Who wouldn't be that down bad? But my god, to say this shit- while groveling on your knees in front of the three, saying, Your eminence! If I were to defeat these scoundrels, then perhaps you would enlighten me with just a single toenail clipping that I can floss my teeth with. Bro, come on. Why not? Jesus! For one night, every inch of my body. <laughs> she said, I mean, Station doesn't actually fucking exist. So she could be just, just, I don't, know, I don't think she would keep the promise. Well, I don't know. Who knows? But this is going to be very interesting. Let's see what happens. <laughs> what if he actually goes crazy mode? Right? <laughs> like, he just starts popping off 1v3 because he's so down bad, right? And remember, what, what, what is the power system in this show? It's all about the mental image. The more, like, the more, like, uh, despicable you are, that, that, that built up into some sort of, like, e like, edgy persona and made those people strong like Ryos. He's so down bad that he's gonna imagine her the entire time he's fighting. He's gonna lock in. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> 
もはや小生はっきり言いませんはい。Despair and tragedy because Yujiro betrayed us and he was too damn bad, and me getting angry at Yujiro, but there's a bit of him left there, and he did come to his own senses without helping, you know, having Kirito and Alice to help out. I'm very proud of Yujiro. He got so close with the knife as well. And then after, bro, c h u d o k i n Prime Senator? Like, I was shitting on him, and I'm like, yeah, fuck this guy, he's annoying, but the moment that, you know, Quinella said, Hey, you can have a little bit after this shit. And he locked the fuck in. The whole point, dude. The way he started crying and the tears fucking it evaporated from the system called the fire element. <laughs> and he summons like this flame fucking golem thing that we're gonna fight now. I think that this shouldn't be too hard for us, but goddamn. Prime Center is going fucking all out because this is his last chance with the fucking hag, and I don't, I don't blame him. The Queen Nello fan service today was fucking unhinged, and that's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist here for more content, and until next time, take care. <laughs>